In April, Kathy Wood took to the stage at the prestigious Fontainebleau Hotel in Miami amidst the challenging time for her career. Her flagship fund, the ARK Innovation ETF, had experienced a significant decline in value over the past year due to its high-risk investments in companies such as Coinbase, Robinhood and Tesla, which has been negatively impacted by a bear market in the technology sector. Despite this, Wood remained a popular figure. A year earlier, she had predicted that her firm, ARK Invest, would achieve annualised returns of 15%, which in light of the recent poor performance, seemed like a humble admission of failure. Instead, would surprise the audience by doubling down on her bullishness, stating, now we think 50%. In the past, Wood had been correct in her predictions, such as her call four years ago that Tesla's stock would soar over 1,000%. She even put a $500,000 price target on Bitcoin. And when the price of Bitcoin took a hit, she raised her prediction to $1 million. Her willingness to make such bold predictions far ahead of reality earned her a rock star reputation among retail investors and traders who affectionately called her Kathy Bay on Reddit. In an industry where guarantees about the future are hard to come by, Wood's brand was a breath of fresh air. Her portfolio was a collection of cutting-edge technologies and disruptive innovations, from self-driving cars and crypto to genomic cancer cures, AI, streaming and gaming. She spoke the language of risk-taking investors and gave them exactly what they wanted to hear. The promise of endless growth and potential. In her world, tech stocks only went up and to the right. In the bustling city of Los Angeles, a young girl named Catherine Duddy Wood was born on November 6, 1955. She was the daughter of Irish immigrants who instilled in her a strong faith in the Catholic religion. Her father, a radar system engineer, also taught her the significance of technology and its power to shape society. As she grew, Kathy Wood excelled in her studies and went on to attend the University of Southern California. She graduated with honors, earning a degree in economics and finance. It was here that she met her mentor, Arthur Laffer, a renowned economist who had served as an advisor during Ronald Reagan's presidential administration. Under Laffer's guidance, Kathy gained valuable insights and knowledge that would serve her well in her future endeavors. After being mentored by Arthur Laffer, Kathy Wood landed her first job at the financial services firm Capital Group, where she worked for three years before moving on to Geniston Associates. It was here where she began to establish herself as a skilled investor, remaining with the company for the next 18 years. In 2001, Wood joined Alliance Bernstein as Chief Economist for Global Theme Strategies, a position she held for the next 12 years. However, her tenure was not without challenges, as her investment portfolio, which prioritized growth companies over value companies, underperformed during the 2007 to 2008 subprime crisis. This led to harsh criticisms and highlighted the high volatility and risk that comes with her investment approach. Despite these setbacks, Kathy continued to pursue her investment strategy and build her reputation as a successful investor. In 2014, Kathy Wood, who had ideas about actively managing exchange-traded funds or EFTs, focused on disruptive technologies with high risk but also high growth potential, left Alliance Bernstein to start her own fund manager, ARK Invest. The name ARK refers to the ARK of the Covenant, from Judeo-Christian mythology, and is also an acronym for Active Research Knowledge. ARK Invest launched its first four thematic ETFs in October 2014, which actively invest in technology innovation companies, genomic revolution, next-generation internet, autonomous technology, and robotics. Despite this focus, Wood also manages two index funds with a similar orientation. ARK Invest's most recent offerings include an ETF dedicated to fintech technologies in 2019 and a space exploration in 2021. Despite its high-risk focus, ARK's flagship product has delivered gains of 152% and manages over $17 billion as of 2021. She was not like the other investment professionals, for she had a unique perspective and an unbridled optimism for the riskiest investments in the market. She was a rare female portfolio manager and was not afraid to take bold and daring moves, even when others were hesitant. Her flagship fund, the ARK Innovation Fund, has been incredibly successful with an average return of nearly 45% per year over the past five years. Wood's background in economics, which she studied at USC under economist Art Laffer, has played a significant role in her investment strategy. She is also a strong believer in Tesla and predicts that the electric car company will one day be valued at over $3 trillion. Since a successful run during the pandemic, Wood has gone from a sought-after investor to one who is bet against. Investors who have shorted ARK funds have made approximately $3.3 billion, according to Ihor Dostoevsky of S3 Partners. Former wealth manager Matthew Tuttle, who had grown skeptical of the industry, began to see the market in early 2021 as a bubble. He had previously crossed paths with Wood at investing conferences and was aware of a tendency to buy stocks such as Tesla and Bitcoin, despite criticism. However, it was not just the stocks she was trading, but also her methods that made Tuttle and others question ARK's methods. Wood's tendency to continue buying stocks even as their prices were falling, a strategy known as catching a falling knife, also raised concerns. Tuttle and others were also worried about the high concentration of Wood's portfolio in a few selected stocks, which made it highly susceptible to market fluctuations. 
Additionally, some criticized Wood for buying more shares of Coinbase when the stock fell 20% after the company reported disappointing quarterly results. These actions led to question whether Wood's methods were sustainable in the long term. Despite the criticism and concerns, Wood has continued to defend her investment strategy and maintain her bullish outlook on the market. However, the recent performance of ARK funds and the scrutiny of Wood's methods have led to increased skepticism from investors and financial analysts. Suddenly, things were moving against the former, unbeatable stock picker. By May, even some of Wood's supporters had begun to have doubts about her investment strategy. On live TV, Jim Cramer stated, I think that Kathy Wood is the kiss of death, and criticized her call on Coinbase as embarrassing. Those who had been skeptical of the bullish market saw Wood's downfall as inevitable. Short seller Carson Block of Muddy Waters Research commented that from our side of the table, none of this is shocking about Kathy Wood. I've seen this movie before, and added that Wood's success was not due to her being brilliant, but just being long on the market. Wood herself admitted that the market could be in a bear phase and that a global recession could be on the horizon. Despite this, some investors are questioning whether Wood has a future in stock picking due to the volatility of her investments. Some call her a permeable and suggest she may be like a broken clock, right only twice a day. Despite the recent downturn in criticisms, Wood maintains that her investment strategy is based on long-term trends and the potential for destructive technologies. It's worth noting that some experts believe that Wood's strategy, which is heavily focused on technology and innovation, is a good approach for the long term. However, the high concentration of her portfolio in a few selected stocks and her tendency to hold on to those stocks even when their prices are falling makes the fund highly susceptible to market fluctuations. This has led some investors to question whether her methods are sustainable in the long term.